Hello and welcome to Complete Agriculture. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to farming kiwi fruit, the modern kiwi fruit agriculture process, and the kiwi fruit harvesting and the kiwi fruit factory processing technology you're gonna see in this video. Kiwi fruit, commonly known as kiwi, is a small fruit with a fuzzy brown interior and a green and yellow flesh inside. Kiwi plants are also for their climbing habit and they require strong support system to grow. The first step is the site selection. Choose the right site for your kiwi plant is a crucial to ensure a successful harvest. Kiwi plants thrive in a warm and sunny location and they need well-drained soil to grow. The ideal pH level in kiwi plants should be 5.5 to 7.5. You should also ensure that the site you choose has reliable source of water. Then the soil preparation. Once you have selected the right site for your kiwi plant, it's time to prepare the soil. Start by removing any weed or debris from the site. You should also loosen the soil to deep of at least 12 inches. If the soil is too acidic, you can add lime to increase the pH level. On the other hand, if the soil is too alkaline, you can add sulfur to decrease the pH level. Planting After preparation of the soil, you can start planting your kiwi plant. Kiwi plants are usually propagated from cutting a, or a grafted onto a rootstocks. You should plant the kiwi vines about 10 feet apart along among the space for to grow them. You should also install a strong trails system to support the vine. The trails should be at least 8 foot height and it should be able to support the weight of the vine. Then the irrigation of kiwi plant. Kiwi plant require a reliable source of water to grow. It should install deep irrigation system to ensure that your kiwi plant get enough water. Deep irrigation is more efficient than a sparkling system as it deliver water directly to the plant root. Then the fertilizer. Kiwi plants require fertilization to grow the produced food. You should fertilize your kiwi plant with a balanced fertilizer that contain nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. You should also add compost to soil to improve the fertility. Then the pruning. Pruning is an essential part of the modern kiwi planting process, so you should pruning your kiwi plant during the dormant section. To remove any days and disease wood, you should also prune the vine to control their growth and ensure that they are well ventilated. The traditional kiwi harvesting process involves picking the fruit by hand, worker would climb the vine and carefully remove the fruit from the branches. The method was time consuming and it was not very efficient. It also required lots of labor. It was challenging to find enough to work during the harvest. The modern kiwi harvesting process involves the use of machine called kiwi harvester. The kiwi harvester is a tractor mounted machine that moves along the row of vine picking the fruit as it goes. Machine uses a series of rubber fails and gently remove the fruit from the vine. The fruit then convoy into a bin that is mounted on the back of the tractor. After harvesting kiwi fruit, they are transported to the factory as quickly as possible to maintain their freshness. Then the cleaning of kiwi fruit. Kiwi fruit are washed 
and scrub to remove dirt, leaves and any debris. Then sorting and grinding, grading. Then sorting and grading. The fruit is sorted by size, quality and ripeness. The sorting is done using a machine that is use cameras and sensor to detect defects fruits and the color variety of the fruits the sorted fruits is then graded based on the quality and size then the pre-cool process the kiwi fruit is cooled to a temperature around 0 degree to prevent decay to extend their self life the cooling is done using refrigeration system or hydro cooling then the packaging the kiwi fruit is packed into container according to size weight quality the packaging materials may vary depending on the destination and customer requirements some common packaging materials include carrots, boxes, and plastic bags. Then storage and transport. The packed kiwi food is stored in a cold room or refrigerated container until it is transported to its destination. The storage temperature is maintained around 0 degree to preserve the fully quality freshness. Then the ripening. Kiwi fruit needs to be ripened to treat it with gas to trigger the ripening process. This is done by exposing the fruit to control level, level of ethanol gas in ripening room. Then the quality control. Quality control is an ongoing process that involves inspecting the fruit at various stages of processing and packaging to ensure that it meets the required standard for taste, appearance and safety. Then the distribution and sale. The kiwi fruit is transported to various market and supermarket that is sold to consumer. The fruit may be also exported to other countries where it is high on demand. Overall, the processing of kiwi fruit involves several steps, each which plays a critical role in ensuring that the fruit reaches consumer in the best possible condition. Thank you for watching the kiwi fruit harvesting and whole agriculture process and the factory processing process of kiwi fruit. I hope you like that video. There are lots of effort need to make that one video. So just one second need, need for subscription. So please subscribe. It just take one second. So please subscribe my channel and Please share with your friends and family. Thank you for watching.